Hi and welcome. My name is Mindy Stroop and I'm a trainer for STEM Scopes. Today I'm going to focus on patterns of movement. This, along with many other free resources, can be found at stemscopes.com. Hope you enjoy patterns of movement. You'll notice I have my class today. They're a little bit on the wacky side, but I love them dearly. For this activity, you're going to need a cookie or baking sheet and a can of shaving cream. If you don't have a baking sheet, a simple sheet of aluminum foil will do. Or you can even ask your parents if you can do it right on top of the countertop. If you don't have shaving cream, you might even try chocolate pudding. Then you can lick your fingers and have some fun as well. If you don't like getting your fingers dirty, you can always use a straw or a coffee stirrer or a plain simple stick to write in the shaving cream. First, you'll put a dollop or just a smidge of shaving cream in the middle of your cookie sheet. Then you'll take your hand and just smooth out the shaving cream. The first pattern of movement that we're gonna work on is back and forth. So we're gonna take our finger in the shaving cream and we're gonna go straight across and straight back, straight across and straight back. That's what we call a back and forth movement, but it also could be a back and forth, back and forth. Can you think of something that goes back and forth? Maybe it's something that you've been on before. So remember, the pattern of movement that we were just working on is back and forth. A swing is a great example of back and forth. Have you ever had fun swinging on a swing? Can you think of some other things that go back and forth, back and forth? I love the way my class is working together. One example that my class came up with was the rocking horse. It goes back and forth and back and forth. Another great example that my kids came up with was a rocking chair. It goes back and forth and back and forth. I love holding my grandbabies and rocking back and forth on the rocking chair. Take a few moments now and let's draw in your draw and write journal and let's draw some pictures of your back and forth movement. Another pattern of movement is zigzag. In a zigzag, you're going to go up, turn a little bit of an angle and come down then turn a little angle and go up, then turn an angle and come down, then turn an angle and go back up. So it's up, angle down, angle up, angle down, angle up. Zig, zag. Now remember, the pattern of movement that we were just working on was called zigzag. That's a silly name, isn't it? Zigzag. On this zigzag pattern, can you trace the zigzag? Look at this dress. Can you find the zigzag pattern? Look at this beautiful, bright colored blanket. Can you find the zigzag pattern? See if you can trace the orange zigzag pattern. How about the pink zigzag pattern? My koala bears found a fantastic example of a zigzag pattern. The koalas came up with an adorable example of zigzag on this hat or toboggan they found. Let's go back now to our draw and write journal and let's make some zigzags on our lines. Another pattern of movement that we're going to work on is round and round. Think about a circle or a bowl and it goes round 
and round and round. This pattern of movement that we were working on is round and round. I'm going to challenge you to come up with some things that go round and round. My fantastic class came up with some fabulous examples of round and round. One example of something that goes round and round is a roundabout. Kids push it while other kids sit on top of it and you go round and round and round. Another example of things that go round and round is the merry-go-round. I just love the colorful horses and the really pretty music they play. Another example of what my class came up with was a top. It spins round and round and round and round. Let's pick back up our draw and write journal and let's draw some round circles or go round and round and round. Maybe you could even draw a bus that has the wheels that go round and round. Another pattern of movement is up and down. You go up, you come down. You go up, you go down. You go up, you go down. Can you think of some things that you go up and down? Does this look like anything you go up and down? The pattern of movement that we just worked on was up and down. As you can see here, I have a thumbs up and I have a thumbs down. I asked my class to come up with some things where they went up and they went down. My fish came up with a step ladder because you can go up a step ladder and come back down a step ladder. <laughs> I would really like to see them go up a step ladder and come back down. My one-armed flying dragon came up with stairs. He said you could go up the stairs and my dragon said you can go down the stairs. Teddy the teddy bear said we could go up and down on a teeter-totter. And the very, very brave koala bears said that you could get in this ride. They would haul you all the way up to the top and then drop you down. Whoosh! Those were some extremely good examples from my fantastic class. Way to go, guys. Let's go back to our draw and write journal now. And let's draw things that go up and down. Maybe you want to do some arrows that go up and down, or your thumb that goes up and down, or maybe you want to make that amusement park ride that goes up and then drops you down. Before I end the pattern of movement lesson, I have a little challenge. Can you think of something that goes round and round and up and down? The answer is a yo-yo. Thank you for joining our class today. Really hope you enjoyed Patterns of Movement.